slow motion video. Okay. You can say whatever you want. Do whatever you want. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> um, mom kiss? Mom kisses are great, aren't they? <laughs> no longer are we trolls. <laughs> Rich, you built this camper, right? Yes. You said, and when we were walked by, we were just amazed because it's made out of wood. Fire pit is not is not a trash receptacle. We are here at Taquanamon State Park. Michigan's Upper Peninsula, finally in the UP. No longer are we trolls. <laughs> no, we're... Uh, Upers. Upers. We're, we're, we're the Upers, eh? So now now that we're up in the UP, and uh, now we can go to the, the things in, and have a pasty <laughs> and a beer. And we're gonna pay our toll to go across. Right, it's supposed to be eight dollars um, for this to uh, for all the axles. So we got two axles on the truck and two axles on the airstream. So it should be eight dollar toll. And we just saw a, a airstream go the other way, and you said you flashed him. I flashed him first, <laughs> and then he flashed me back. <laughs> If you don't know, that is one thing with airstreams. A lot of time you see one in the wild, you're passing each other in the expressway. You flashlights, and it's all part of a big community. It's really nice. Yeah, it's fun. Oh, yeah, I'll be heads up. I forgot what to get you back for a minute. Have a good one. Thanks. You're supposed to give me 50, but... <laughs> good try. Yeah. I do, I try. <laughs> every sin be washed away. Every grave will be abandoned. Even death will pass away.
We are here at Taquanamon State Park, and it's a beautiful night, isn't it? It finally is. It's been raining for the past few days, and we finally have a nice evening. Yeah, so we were thinking of going for a bike ride, but we hadn't gotten our bikes down yet at this point. So we thought you might like to see how we do that. We have the jacket, um, bike rack, and um, we actually just got a new piece for it, a right? A new piece for it, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to have Michelle flip the camera around, and then I'll kind of show you how the jacket works and the new piece that we just got for this. Cool. Okay. So this is our jacket bike rack, and we've had this on here for almost a year on the Airstream, and it has worked great. But we just got a new piece for this from Tony and Tina at TNT RVing. Our piece for the jacket, this section right here, it was the standard piece that kind of came up and angled back and then went up. And so the bikes were very, very close to the plexiglass, um, the, the window shield there on the Airstream. The main issue with that is that it made our propane tanks inaccessible with the bike rack on. Now with this new straight piece, we can get to the propane tanks. And in fact, we did that. We pulled into a gas station, they had propane, and I was able to, with the bike rack on, take the whole shroud off and get a propane refill right there, which was great. The other nice thing, this is done by pushing it out it makes it much easier to get the bikes off. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna start on hitching everything and get these uh, bikes off of this rack. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start loosening these. These parts that hold this on. That one, and then we'll get this one up here. Sure, that's not going to be too high. No, I think I'm good. I mean, okay. Got the, <laughs> I got the muscles here. Look at those muscles. Yeah. <laughs> so we grab the fork right there, so it doesn't spin around. Right, that holds this steady. If you grab this, that front wheel is going to spin around. It's going to smash your fingers all up. So we grab this, and then either the back or the I like to grab the center support right there. So this just lifts up like this, and then this lifts off of here, and that's it and our bike is down. That simple for that one. Now, the next one, Michelle's bike, that's where it really is gonna shine, this new bar on there. That's where always the issue was because it was so close to the Airstream that it would hit that plexiglass. In fact, I put foldable pedals here on Michelle's bike, as you can see, um, so they would go flat, so then that would pull it further away. That is way easier than it used to be. It was, it sometimes took both of us, me standing on a stool, yes. <laughs> for me to be tall enough to help him lift it off those pegs. So that extra space has made all the difference in the world. And again, Tony and Tina, thanks so much for this. You cannot believe how much this has changed our life and how much this works for the jacket. It's my understanding that Jacket now includes this. Ours, when we bought this a um, little over a year ago, did not come with this piece. If it did, I probably threw it away because I didn't know what it was, but I don't think I got this. And Tony and Tina with TNT are being, so they actually had two of these. That's how we ended up with one. One is powder coated like this original finish. And then there's this one here, which is standard steel tubing. And it's just, um, like a shiny spray paint on there. I think we need to go for a bike ride, Michelle. That would be great. Let's do it. Tequamanan Falls State Park is located in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. The centerpiece of the park's nearly 50,000 acres is the Tequamanan River with its waterfalls viewable from multiple accessible overlooks. Tequamanan Falls State Park also has three campgrounds, Hemlock, Portage, and Rivermouth. We served as campground hosts at Portage Campground this past August. All sites have 30 amp service and some 50 amp service. 
a sanitation station and recycling are both available. The Portage Campground Loop is located near the river about a quarter mile from the Lower Falls. Here's another one, and these, that's the thing, your fire pit is not, is not a trash receptacle. You know, kids are gonna make s'mores and stuff in these fire pits, and they're gonna be eating marshmallows with plastic, microplastics poison in them. There's times where people complain and say, well, how come, you know, checkout time is at 11 or at one or something and you don't get to check into campsite till three. You know, this is why. It's because of this trash that people leave in sites. Somebody's got to clean this up. You know, somebody's got to take care of this stuff. And uh, I mean, how, like, most people don't want to come into a campsite and have it all full of trash and stuff. And um, so it's just a matter of somebody's got to clean up because your mom doesn't work here. Is that one full too? No. Not as bad? Keep your eye on the sparrow. Brown yours is getting nice. Is it anybody's birthday this week? Yeah. Uh, almost. Yours. Almost. What day? Sunday. And when is yours? Um, on November 19th. Okay. That's almost. I know. That's close. When you're waiting, it's close. How old are you going to be? Oh, eight years old. Well, happy oh, birthday. Oh, and happy birthday to you, too. It's November 18th. Rich, you built this camper, right? Yes. You said. And when we were walked by, we were just amazed because it's made out of wood and it's just gorgeous. Um, but you said that it's actually modeled after something. Yeah, I, uh, I got some plans from a guy. Uh, I don't think he's around anymore. It's campingclassics.com and got the shape and the mm -hmm. layout and uh, kind of went from there and mm -hmm. uh, recycled my redwood deck and uh, got it to look like it is today. That's nice. And you said it's built kind of like a like a wood boat because I thought you can't have a wood camper. It'll it'll like rot. But boats work on the water. Right, yeah, I had built a couple wood strip canoes and kayaks, and so I used similar construction techniques, and there's epoxy and fiberglass on, on this, and I guess you could flip it upside down and float it down a river. <laughs> <laughs> we could try, because we're here at Taquamna Falls, we could try that. It'd be like the barrel over the Niagara Falls. There you go. It'd be something. Now, what was really neat, and your wife showed me a little bit ago, was the kitchen area. Can you kind of sure. show me yeah. some of that? So we've got this hatch that opens up here and inside um, we've got a little cooking area and then our built-in not quite a yeti cooler cooler um, it's uh, actually built somewhere to the camper wrapped in fiberglass and plywood very nice very nice and absolutely beautiful woodwork now being a former kitchen designer and kitchen sales the doors did you make those doors as well or are they yep that's amazing that's amazing. And what the wood, am I reckoning, it's, is it birch or is it maple? Uh, it's actually hickory. Hick it probably should have gone with something lighter weight. Yeah. <laughs> that was what was cheap at the wood store that day. Wow, I would not have picked that out as hickory yeah. so initially. Yeah. And then the, the outside shell, 
Uh, is redwood and birch. And birch. birch. That is that is Baltic birch. Mm -hmm. And then uh, in the inside, you said you've got it insulated, and so it stays cool yep. in the summer yeah. too. Yeah. Do you want to take a look inside? Sure. It might be kind of a mess, but take a look. On Very nice. We got bunk beds on this side and then a good sized queen bed and you've got a nice ventilation fan up there on the top. Very light and bright. So I built a recessed floor because I wanted to be able to stand up and put my pants on in the morning. Excellent. And then the other design criteria was it had to fit in a garage. Mm -hmm. So it could fit inside a seven foot garage door. Wow. There you go. I didn't, uh, didn't even think of that. So. You don't really want to store a wood camper outside your room. Mm -hmm. I don't think. Probably not. Time it would probably. Deteriorate. Probably not. Not in cold weather. No. For, for sure. sure. Um, but this is uh, this is an absolute beautiful build. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks for showing it to me. Yeah. No problem. Slow motion video. Okay. You can say whatever you want. Do it if you want. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Close-up shot of these falls right here. Who's gonna fit your hand? No. <laughs> <laughs> Any less sugar in those? Actually, there's less in the truffles than in the chocolate. <laughs> this is amazing. It's a great idea to have wristbands because you don't have to hold on to tickets.
like the sign says. Yeah. Jump right up there. Yeah, look at you. That's Betty. Hi, Betty. Some boots. Boots got four oh, black she feet. just wants in the bag. Yeah, I know. She <laughs> tries that all the time. Oh, yeah. Betty's the friend of this one. She's actually good friends with my dog. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. Apples one more time. There you go. <laughs> Yay. That's what she was 